What's going on, Doombots? Uh, for those of you who were in the stream last night, we did a quick live video regarding the event itself. And uh, here is the video. I didn't post it because I received notification that there was going to be changes to the event, but I want to do a before and after. This video is going to show that while so many times people will say everybody is constantly complaining, there is a difference between whining and complaining. Whining is really just making sounds. Complaining is making an attempt to make a change. Here's what we had in the first pass of this event. If we noticed, there was no audio here. Uh, a handful of shards for the earliest amount of cores spent on the event. And I'll just kind of skim through a little, noticing that as you go up to a couple hundred, you're still getting orb parts, but you're not quite getting resources. Uh, going up to 400, going up to 500, you're starting to you're starting to see resources. The original version of this event, moving up a little bit more, 1,200. This is where things start getting interesting. If you notice, and you'll see me behind me. It's right around here, over 1,500 cores before you start getting actionable materials. Now, these are not bad materials either. Uh, just the entire effort it took to complete the event was crazy. But this is, it took about 2,000 cores a day uh, in order to start obtaining uh, gear tier 14 gear. And you were getting a handful of other stuff as you went on. Just to show, as we keep going, this event roughly topped off at 5,000 cores. You could start seeing, trying to get to it. There it is. 3,000 cores. So right here... 3,000 cores a day, or I think it's like $20, $30 worth of cores if you're just buying them, to get this far with a decent amount of uh, orb resources, etc., etc. And then, of course, at 5,000, which was the top of the day, the math on that was $700, assuming you didn't have any cores uh, over the course of 10 days, or $70 a day to be able to spend 5,000 cores. Now, the problem is there's not much to spend 5,000 cores on, and the end result was pretty demeaning. Um, so this is where we were yesterday. And uh, I did some tongue in cheek conversations about it on stream. And here's where we are today. So in 24 hours with enough people just hating the event, I don't want to say mad, but just being disappointed that an event that's very clearly based on using in game currency or currency in lieu of money, uh, that we don't get too much of it from playing every day, but we do get a an amount. Uh, most people use them for things like store refreshes, character refreshes, or energy refreshes. Uh, most people save them for campaign events or just to open a specialty orb once in a while. For the most part, these don't have a lot of value in the game, but you can turn them into value as you uh, need them later. Now, the exact same thing uh, event has changed a little. The things that used to cost 2000 cores a day before you started getting any well now you get the first five waves at 200 cores that's great the entire amount has changed so now they're rewarding the players for doing what they do which is play the game spend the average amount of cores they probably spend during a day and now it's starting to incentivize going a little bit over that. Now, the average player spends between two and 400 cores a day, depending on where they are in arena um, and you know how far they are into the game, what their resources are, whether they're able to make up for that in things like the milestones, et cetera, et cetera. So right around here is what you're going to get. And this is the difference between a trash milestone or a trash event and what we have here, which is a really awesome and to be honest, generous event. This is a very great event for the Lunar New Year. Uh, we can just get more resources for spending in-game currency. This is the kind of event that I like to see. 
So we move on and we see once you get a little bit over your average, hey, we're getting those Elite Four credits, we're getting some Armory Orbs. As you go up, you notice it's separated by 50 cores, which is reasonable considering that's how people usually spend their cores. Uh, we notice that we're getting not more of the resources, but we're getting them more easily. We're getting access to these orb fragments. We're getting some promotion credits at earlier points. And now keep in mind, at 15, at 2000 previously, we were just starting to get the better parts of the resources we needed. Now we're getting what I like to call the excess resources. So now what they've done is instead of backloading the event and making absolutely everybody feel bad for not having to spend, now it's a little bit more of a reward for completing them as opposed to a requirement to complete them. We're getting what we get for competing in the event or completing the event. And now if you happen to be spending more, whether on your own or because of the event itself, you get a reasonable return on what you spend. The last thing I'd like to point out is that the final milestone has been lowered from 5,000 to 3,000 uh, cores a day. Now, 5,000 a day was about $70 to get 3,000 cores a day, just to give you the quick obvious math on that one. Again, assuming you don't have a trillion core income every day, uh, it's about $40, a little bit less. So we'll say $40, going from $70 to $40 a day to complete it. It's still a lot of money. No one is saying that it's a reasonable amount of money to spend on a mobile game. We're also not necessarily saying that the rewards at the end of doing that are inherently amazing. Uh, I don't necessarily think that spending that much a day for a grand total of, you know, nine promotion credits for the duration of this event is is amazing i don't think anyone would even think that but i do think now that with the way the event has been organized and how it ties with the Cel lunar celebration version of the event i think now we're starting to see what a good event looks like almost as if they made a mistake was told immediately by the community, this is stupid, and went and spent the amount of time they should have spent in the first place making the event rewarding and still incentivizing the people who are willing to spend cores or money on cores to get a little bit more for their effort. To me, this is the exact reason why it's important to be vocal about problems you have in pretty much anything, let alone in the game that you play. The game is supposed to be fun. Now, obviously, some people are going to be overcritical, myself sometimes included. Some people are going to be undercritical, or as I like to call them, obsequious, uh, because they think that everything uh, that a corporation does is beautiful. Either of those situations on both ends of the spectrum exist, but somewhere in the middle is reason. And in that reason, you find that, hey, you're running an event. It's supposed to be a special one-time event. Give the players an opportunity, one, to obtain more because it's a limited time event than they would under normal circumstances, and to extend themselves into the event and get more than they would have otherwise. This, to me, is a perfect style of event. No one is chasing that finished goal, but people who are going to get there anyway or who might just need a couple of resources or who have the money or cores to do it will accomplish the task. I'm going to be the first to say... Thank you very much, Scopely. Thank you very much, Fox Next, uh, for taking into consideration how horrendously poor a job you did originally with the event and taking action to make sure that it is corrected. Uh, that's pretty much it. Comment below. Let me know if you think this was a reasonable change to uh, the independent solo part of the milestone or if you think that the mistake shouldn't have been made in the first place and this is just, you know, mia culpa on their part either way i think this event went from an absolute stinker to a reasonable and honestly probably one of the better events we've ever had uh comment below let me know i've been tony scongeli guys and i'll catch you later